Hello friends. I am going to just do a short video. I don't have any updates. I haven't been trying anything new. I'm still doing the same things that I was sharing on my last video. I'm taking the black cumin, a little bit of lemon oil. Um, that seems to help. Um, I am not quite sure what I took. Killed some off and had a bunch of regrowth, so I've been really tired. Um, but I've also been dealing with that methane thing going on. Hopefully this week I cannot get the guy here with the camera. So hopefully yeah, this week um, I just called a different company and hopefully they can come. So hopefully that'll be taken care of. Um, and I, I have ordered some pills and I haven't taken them yet because I have so many other things going on. I don't, I want to make sure that it's actually the pills and not like fixing the methane problem or, um, other things. So, um, but I am trying a new diet. Um, I am going to try, I think doing, um, I'm trying to do no sugar and, um, also want to try alternate day fasting. So, um, I fasted since about five o'clock last night and then I'll, um, I'm going to try and do three days a week. So it won't be all the way alternate day fasting because right now I'm craving the protein really, really bad. Um, but I am giving up chicken because I keep choking on it. It's the, I cannot, I, I'm afraid I'm going <laughs> to, my kids are going to find me dead someday. I shouldn't laugh because I, I keep choking on, I don't do red meat most of the time anyway, cause I really can't digest it, but, um, I have been eating chicken and fish, but now I'm just sticking with fish. So finishing off, um, I haven't been buying any new chicken and I've just been eating fish for the last couple of weeks. So, um, I'm going to see how I do with the diet and the fasting. I, I am going to start taking that medication, but I want to get the house taken care of first. So, um, I did order a couple different types of different pills that say they're supposed to help. So I'm going to try those. Um, but, and I'll let you know, but, um, I, I have people writing me every day, um, about different symptoms and whatever, but I've been really pushing hard to finish the web page, the new web page. So I am really, really close to finishing it. Um, I have just a few more things I need to link it to, um, Google and a few other things. So, um, but I will not post this video until it's done. So when this video goes up, the web page will be up. And I decided to name it um, Horse Hair and Humans. So if you go to, uh, it's, you should be able to get to it from that, but I will put a link below in the description. So, um, you'll be able to see down there what it is. And I also will post it on my blog, the secret is and with a link. So if you just go to the secret is and type in parasite up will come the web page um, that you can look at it up. Um, because for so many years, people have been having to watch all my videos and, um, look up all my blogs to find all the different symptoms and the testing and everything. So on the page, the opening page, it describes horse hair, um, and, and my, you know, story just saying that I'm just a lay person that's do, doing this, um, until they study it. There's no more better information than I've got, so I might as well, right? So, um, and then there's a page that shows the descriptions in order of how they came in. So the worst description, the worst symptom might not be at the top because it didn't show up till later. So all of the symptoms um, are showing up how they showed up, starting with the bumps in the back of the throat and on the skin and that kind of thing, the rashes, etc. Then um, once that page, then there's four or five pages of descriptions of the symptoms in depth with pictures. So if you want to see the pictures of the symptom, like the rashes on the legs and the oozing rashes or um, I'm trying to think of some of the other symptoms you can actually take pictures of, right? So um, the line in my tooth, um, the yellowing eyes, that's not necessarily from the parasites, but you can see them in all the pictures. My eyes are kind of, you know, looking a little yellow. Um, but, and then I tried to link a video with 
the description of the new symptom that I've talked about showing up. So um, the video of the line in the teeth or the line in my fingers, I show pictures of the lines in my fingers, those little black lines, you see right there. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so, but it's really good right now. I hardly have any, so that's a happy, um, but they do show up. So, um, so there's pictures, um, of it. And then there's a video that's linked talking about that description, but there's so many videos that I have that are just compilations of, I tried this, I tried that. Here's the test results that, um, I didn't want to link the same video over and over and over again. So, um, I, and all of the videos are not even linked on the web page because I have over 50 videos just on the parasites. So um, I just put a link on the front page and on the, the second to last page. The last page is contact information, um, but the page before that has um, a link to all the videos at the very end. Um, so you can link to that to see all the different videos that I have about the parasite. Um, so, but I tried to pick, and this is why it's taking me so long to get the webpage done, is I took the video that had the most information about that subject and link, and put it next to, or next to the description. So the description's on the one side and the video, the pictures, and then the links to the videos are on the, the side. So description, videos, and pictures are over here. And, um, and so there's like four or five pages of descriptions of symptoms and the videos and the links to my blog posts about it. And then um, I have a page of the link to um, suicide, like linking the parasite to the suicide and showing um, how I think there's a link between the nematodes that they would spray um, eggs, they would spray to keep the crickets down or whatever and the suicide rates going up with that. And they have shown that some um, pesticides do cause that. So um, a link to suicide and pesticides. So I, I have a page about that. And then the, um, there's a page about linking the low iodine to suicide as well. So it's kind of a combination because if we have iodine in our system and zinc and copper, the parasites wouldn't live anyway because those are all things that would keep the parasite kill off parasites. So I think it's the low iodine that's causing the overgrowth of the parasites. So there's a page specifically about suicide and iodine, and then there's the page about parasites and suicide. So there's two different pages on that. And then, um, uh, the, then the last page is just contact information. But I did add the only symptom that's on the pages that I have not experienced personally is my hair moving on its own. But I have had many, many people write me and say, does your hair move on its own, like long hair? And they have videos of their hair moving, but people always say, yeah, right, it's not your hair moving, it's the wind or whatever. And I get that with some of my videos on the parasite when I had it on my finger or whatever. They're like, you're breathing on it, you're moving it around, you're, you know, you have a fan going, it's the camera sound, it's not a fan. But there's no way to prove it to those people that that's the case. So it's very hard to prove that symptom, but I have had personal friends that have had that symptom as well as um, a lot of people on my blog and YouTube channel that write me and say, Hey, have you had this symptom? And one of them recently described it. Now I get this fuzzy hair um, and it gets knotted and at the back of my neck and on the sides, it just kind of goes wiry. And I did not have that until I had the parasite. And I have seen on family members and kids or whatever, it, like their hair gets super, super knotted back under here. It's just wiry. And it's right towards the scalp. It's not towards the bottom. So like if you could see up at the scalp that right here, it's really like wiry and knotty. And I, what she was proposing and saying was that she felt like the, the hair's um, were knotting themselves in knots, which it's a Gordian worm and it does get itself in knots. So she was saying that she thinks that somehow the, the hairs are binding with the, the worms are binding with the hair, which they live in the hair follicle, the hair uh, gland. 
And so I think that it it's true that they could be winding themselves around the hair and then making the hair look like it's moving. And then they're, they're mating with other worms in the other hairs. And so it kind of causes this knotted Gordian type of knot in the, in the hair. And I've seen it on, on little kids quite a bit and they always have the rashes too. Um, the kids that have that knotting in their hair always have the rashes on the neck or on the wrist, the elbows, back of the knees. They always end up having those, those rashes. So, um, I did end up putting that on the very end saying, I have not had this symptom, but I have had a lot of people who have all of these other symptoms that I have say that they have this. And I think the reason that, um, I, I don't have that is because I bleach my hair every three weeks or so. So because I bleach the roots of my hair, um, I think it's killing them off or driving them out of my scalp. So because I do that, and also I put diatomaceous earth on my bedding, all of my bedding, all the, the time. Um, it always has diatomaceous earth on it so that if they come out at night, they get on the bedding, they can't live in the bedding, that they die in the bedding. And I just, I've, I've got a video where I show that. I just always do that because I have felt the difference. If I don't put it on, they wake me up all night. I can feel them moving and everything. And they still wake me up all night going in and out of orifices and popping in my mouth and ears and nose and eyes and whatever. But, um, but I think because I have that diatomaceous earth, um, I put it on the back of my neck. Sometimes I'll put it on the bedding all the time. Um, and I keep it on the rashed areas, um, on my body that, um, maybe that's why I don't have that. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of wild kind of, but it's not like, I don't feel the long hair moving, but it, I'm not saying it can't be. So that's why I added it because I've had enough people write me and tell me, and I've had friends that have similar symptoms that have told me that they can see their hair, their hair will just move. They can feel it moving like, and so that's the only symptom that is on the webpage that I have not personally experienced everything else that's on there is my own experience. So just know that if you're going to there, that that's the one thing that was not, that I have not experienced, but I have a lot of aching pains more too. And I haven't really put that on there as much, but that the longer worms burrowing in my hip, I don't know why it's chosen my hip, probably because it's pretty protected in that hip socket area. There's not, I've got a lot of fat. <laughs> truth comes out like you can't tell anyway if you put oils on that area it's kind of protected behind bone in that area and so um I think that's why it's living there I've, I've had them you know set up shop over here at first and then there was one up here for a while and then I put oils and stuff and then one now my heart towards the middle of the beginning and then um lately they just kind of burrow in and out of the big muscles and hide in the joints. So the bigger joints. So, um, it's been super, super painful, like wake me up quite a bit in the night. Cause that's when they're active. So I can feel it moving, burrowing out of the hip area into the groin area and then laying eggs, whatever, and then go back to the groin, the hip area. It's really, really painful. So I've been putting iodine, straight Lugals down there as as well as diatomaceous earth just kind of lathering the system but then it just drives it up and it's so painful anyway so I'm hoping that bringing more attention to it with this web page can get this gone it would be so nice so anyway that's it the web page up check it out um I will have like I said links to it in the subscription uh in the in description <laughs> i'm really tired sorry and um i will actually try and put a link to it um on the end of this video so hopefully i can get it working and linking and everything working together um and then hopefully on the rest of my all my other videos from now on i will be able to have a link to the website from that if everything works out okay because i have it linked from a domain name to a website too <laughs> so there's a, a lot of working it to figure it out so anyway i hope you um we can all figure this out and that you feel great and that we all feel better and that we can be done with this parasite because most of the people that write me are very discouraged and rightly so because they don't, their doctors don't know what to do. And so they're very lonely and um, struggling with this alone because people think you're crazy and we do sound crazy. I am the first to admit. So 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free. Um, you can write me on my blog. You can write me on um, a question in the comments, or you can write me at the secret is gratitude blog at gmail.com. Um, I don't get to that one very often. I write, I respond to comments more than I do the email just because time wise, I have it linked. I can get to write to it, but I have to sign in and out of the different emails. So I just don't check it as often. So feel free to write me there if you have any questions, but most of the stuff is going to be on this website. So if you just read the website, you'll be able to find the answers of what I've tried and how it's worked and whatever. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day.